Today is a big day for Boston sports fans as the Red Sox finally playing back home after a 10 game West Coast trip to open up the season. Not the start the Red Sox or fans were looking for though losing this afternoon 7 to 1. And 22 News reporter Heath Cobb is live outside Fenway Park. Heath, tell us what's making today so special. Yes, yeah, Ciara and Nick, of course the Red Sox did lose, unfortunately, making the 38,000 fans that were inside Fenway Park behind me not so happy. But the weather was beautiful, baseball is back, and a lot of nostalgia. And it's not because of the Red Sox' first home game. Now, the Red Sox celebrated the 20th anniversary of the 2004 World Series championship team that, of course, reversed the curse of the Bambino and brought home a championship for the first time in 86 years. Before the game, the team celebrated the 2004 team with close to 40 members of that championship roster here, including some legends and familiar names, including Johnny Damon, David Ortiz, Manny Ramirez, and Kevin Millar. The ceremony also honored special tributes to Tim Wakefield and former Red Sox president and CEO Larry Lucchino, who recently passed away. And as far as it is outside in Boston, many fans are happy the team started out with three series on the road because it's a little warmer now than it would have been at the end of March. I spoke to one fan who has come to 25 consecutive opening days, and while he loved all the festivities, he has one important message. Well, you know the old saying, deep down inside, everybody loves the Red Sox, even Yankee fans. And deep down inside, everybody hates the Yankees, even Yankee fans. So the, the Red Sox didn't play the Yankees today, but that rivalry is still alive and well. So even though the Red Sox don't have stars like Big Poppy or Manny Ramirez like they did 20 years ago, it doesn't matter. This tradition so many love. Baseball is America's pastime for a reason. This is the Red Sox 124th season and their 113th year at Fenway Park. And like Nick was alluding to earlier, the Red Sox did unfortunately lose today, moving to 7-4 and four on the season. They lost 7-1 to one today against the Baltimore Orioles with the lone run coming in a first inning home run by Tyler Ornett. Neil, Tyler O'Neill. For now, working for you live in Boston outside of Fenway Park. I'm Heath Kalb, 22 News.